as most of you know who follow me on social media, I am getting married next week and we are doing a civil ceremony here in Dublin where we are based and then we are getting married in Greece in September. It has ended up that we are basically doing two weddings. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It was meant to be that we would just do the registry office here in Dublin have maybe a small dinner with uh, our immediate family and save everything for the big day in Greece. But it has ended up that we've decided to go ahead and do a small ceremony here in Dublin. So basically today's video is going to run you through how to register to get married. For anyone who's not getting married, this will not be for you, but I have had a lot of questions um, for anyone like me who is terrible with filling out forms, following steps, getting organized, and having everything on time and done on time. That is not my strength and it's definitely something I struggle with a lot. So this video is basically a step-by-step -step on how to register for a civil ceremony. And then also we are doing our ceremony now, not in the registry office, but in the Marion Hotel in Dublin. So a lot of people as well were asking about just a little bit of an insight and what that looks like, what the price includes, etc. So I thought I would do my best to kind of squeeze it all into this video and just give you a really clear step-by-step process on how to do it all so that you don't have to ferry around and rush around trying to find all of the links and the telephone numbers. Everything will be in the description box below. Everything will be um, time snapped in the description box below so you can go straight to the different categories and different steps and get it all done. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with the civil ceremony. And this means that I will get to the having your ceremony in a hotel afterwards. So if you're just planning on doing a civil ceremony and planning to just get married in the registry office and then do your own thing in a restaurant or if you're doing what I was meant to be doing and having the big wedding at another stage time or stage then basically your first step is to call the registry office. You will book in with them a date to get it done. When you book the date for your civil ceremony, you will also get a date for your um, notification, uh, your marriage notification. So basically what that means is that you have to go into the registry office to basically show who you are with your passport. So there's a checklist online, which again, I will include below. And you basically have to go in with your partner with your passports, ID and birth certificate and basically notify the registration office that you are getting married and that you are the people that you say you are when you're in the office that day they will give you your celebrant they organize that for you and the fee to register your marriage i think is 20 euro and the fee for a celebrant within the registry office is a hundred euro they will also that day give you your marriage registration form which is really important and you will need that on the day of your civil ceremony and basically that is it so i'm going to include the telephone number the links everything below for that process and it is much more simple than it might seem so don't worry about that now if you're getting married in a hotel so what you want to do first is if you are getting married in a hotel or if you have something to book whether it is a garden space or whatever you need to obviously know that it is free or when it is free for you to book in so you'll book in for example with us we booked in with the marion on july 15th and then we called the um, re marriage registration office to register and to notify notify them um, for the date that we wanted to get married. Now, on the day that we wanted to get married in the Marion that we had booked, they didn't have a celebrant available for the 100 euro. So that means that you have to outsource your celebrant, which you can do online, but for the Marion Hotel and wherever you're getting married, usually they will provide you with a list of celebrants who you have to interview, which is really, really important. I would really recommend interviewing um, quick, small interviews on um, a Zoom call or Skype or whatever it is. And then maybe if you wanna, 
kind of bring it down to a select few and meet them in person you can but we decided we only interviewed two and we decided one was definitely for us definitely discussed before that what it is that you want it is a little bit overwhelming they will have a lot of questions for you and doesn't it doesn't matter if you don't have the answers there were so many questions that they were like for us do you want to light the candles and does this mean a lot to you and we were like uh i don't know like no um so don't worry be yourself don't uh worry about hurting the celebrant's feelings or you will find a celebrant that works for you some of them are really strict on what they want like that they want to kind of introduce a lot of um kind of smushy mushy lovey-dovey stuff or some of them are religious some of them aren't so just be really sure what it is that you want stick to your guns and if it doesn't work out just find a new one so when it comes to the Marion and getting married in the Marion Hotel, dreamy. First of all, it is like the most beautiful hotel in Dublin. If you haven't been, I would really recommend going for afternoon tea or whatever it is. But I was absolutely blown away by just how special it is, how stunning the Georgian decor is and literally being smack bang in the center of town i just absolutely love marion square is super special to me i don't know why but i've always had a really special feeling around marion square with the national gallery with um the government buildings i just love all the buildings around there and the terraced georgian style so for me it's just absolute perfection and i couldn't believe how just easy the whole process was so there are a few different rates or prices with the marion and some include obviously more than others so we decided to go for the full marion wedding service which is 2000 euro and this includes basically the full rental and private rental of the entrance which is separate to the main entrance of the hotel. You get your own entrance with red carpet, champagne upon arrival, and the full ceremony room is kitted out. Floral decorations are done for you. They have their own florists that they work with. You are free to choose your own as well, but they will help you with decoration. They will really fine tune everything to exactly what you want. Um, it doesn't include the cake, but they have um, bakers that they work with that they can organize a cake for you it does come with the stand and the cutting of the cake included um laura is laura mcginn is the wedding planner in there and she will basically work with you from start to finish she is amazing she has been just so helpful and i can't believe the difference obviously it's very different organizing a wedding for 120 people in greece but this is has been just such an easy process she is amazing and this price also includes a night stay in the marion which is just dreamy anyway it includes obviously the whole ceremony being in one of the most beautiful rooms i've ever been in with full georgian windows with the most beautiful and elegant settings and chairs and um they also include um the setting of the tables the dinner cards place names all of those things so all those little bits that you have to think of, they literally organize everything for you, which is included in the 2000 euro. That also includes a one year anniversary dinner in the garden, which is so special and such a nice touch. It doesn't include obviously the food and the dinner and the drink, which is priced per head. So you can, they will send you all of those prices separate and you can choose what you want to go for there. They have different menus. The food is absolutely amazing. I have heard just non-stop good reviews about the food there and the selection of menu styles were top notch and i was happy with literally every single option that they gave us so just to give you a quick run through of what our wedding day in the marion is going to look like the um i'm going to be getting ready in the room because we are staying in the room that is included in the price so we're going to be checking in early getting ready in the room which you can request and at three o'clock our guests are going to be arriving connor will be down in the private foyer and will be welcoming our guests with a glass of champagne and then they are brought up to the ceremony room at about you know 20 30 minutes later just depending on when everyone arrives when everybody arrives they're all brought up to the ceremony room and then i will come down and make my um and 
and the ceremony is about half an hour again you can preference that you would like a short or maybe you have a lot of stuff that you want to include in your ceremony so that is what we are doing we are having a spotify playlist we want our own music you they have a our a live music option if you would like our ceremony will start at about 3 30 until 4 then we have canapes and drinks in the garden depending on the weather if the weather doesn't go to plan they have another room set up um for your drinks and then they set up the room like we are doing we're going for the full service so we are having our dinner in the private wellington room which is where the ceremony is they do a flip of that and set up the whole dinner there while you are enjoying your canapes and drinks so our dinner starts at about 5 30 until about 7 30 and then it's drinks you can then go down to the cellar bar if you want you can go somewhere else you can do what you want but that's what our day is going to look like so i hope you with the inside of the videos and showing you what it looks like and a little bit of a description of what our day is going to look like you can have it start whenever you want so it can start earlier or later but i feel like people are exhausted if you start way too early so this is short and sweet so to finish through with this part of the video i am just going to run you through from start to finish the different areas in the marion so that you can really see and get an, a deep insight into what a wedding looks like in the marion and obviously i am going to be vlogging as much as i can and videoing as much as i can next week on the day of my wedding I have somebody there to film and somebody there to help me with content so that I don't feel like I'm working but I'm trying my best to get as much so that you can get a real feel for what it is like to get married in the Marion which I just feel so grateful and so lucky to be doing so as I mentioned, you get your own private entrance and you are welcomed into this foyer. Your guests will have this as their first experience of your wedding. So it's super special. The groom usually welcomes the guests with some champagne or Prosecco. Then there are plenty of rooms that they have as backup in case it is bad weather. You could have this room as your drinks reception after the ceremony. This leads into what is set up for a wedding today for the dinner so this is one of the options and um, there are other options as well as you can see they dress it up just beautifully flowers the cutlery the plates I want it all you don't have to worry about any of this all you have to do is pretty much show up and all of this is organized and views from every single window obviously the whole hotel is stunning so every corner every entrance is just beautiful here is the wellington room where the ceremony usually is so this is where our ceremony is going to be they're also turning this and doing a bit of a flip for the dinner to be in this room as well because for me anyway it's on the first floor and is way brighter and I think it's just the most beautiful room I've ever seen those carpets the blue walls the views into the gardens from the windows everything about it the ceiling it's just absolutely stunning so I am so excited to basically spend the whole day in this room um like look at that chandelier everything just stunning so like I said every part of the hotel is so beautiful so there's plenty of space to make or to take photos this for example is one of the staircases where your photographer can take photos of you and your husband after the ceremony and like I said it's just so picturesque so plenty of options for photos I also just wanted to add in here that we got our wedding bands um, and actually my engagement ring, Connor got my engagement ring in Appleby in Dublin city centre. I couldn't recommend them more. They were just so helpful, so gorgeous and it is a bit of an experience being in there. I would highly recommend going in. I will show you now the wedding bands that we looked at. We ended up deciding to go for both wedding bands from Applebee's. Originally we had thought maybe that we would get 
just my wedding band in there um, because I was going for something with diamonds um, but we decided in the end it was just easier it's probably out of laziness to be honest and um, that we would get both in there but you can definitely get especially for your groom um, not to diss them or anything and not that their wedding band isn't as important but if they are getting a really plain um, band um, that's just gold or silver or whatever if you go in to um, antique shops they usually have really good wedding bands for a much cheaper price and then you gals can spend more on yours so I hope that video helped you I think I was uh, able to answer all of your questions that you had and I'm really looking forward to showing you a little bit more of the Marion hotel experience next week uh, like I said I'm still in total shock that I'm getting to do two weddings basically um, but I am delighted to be able to try the Marion for the first time I've never stayed there before we'll be staying overnight so I will try and show you as much as I can um, wish me luck and um, if you are getting married I hope this video has taken away some of the stress and given you a few ideas for getting your stuff in order or even choosing hotels or celebrants or whatever it is and I look forward to seeing you again soon.